Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Okay. I think we're back. Cool. Ah, oh, that was aggravating. That was very, very annoying. But let's try this again. Alright, so we were having some audio uh, difficulties. We're going to continue here with uh, Life is Strange Episode 3. All right, cool feet. Hey, can you hear me? Are we good? I hope so because um, you can hear me. Good, thank God. Okay, so like my computer, I don't know, it's been acting up. Literally, all I had to do was disable the mic and then enable it again. Like, I don't know why it quit on me midstream. Like it. it I, I didn't touch any of the settings, it just stopped working all of a sudden for some reason. Anyway, um, I guess to give you a little recap, um, okay, so, Life is Strange is a game about a girl that... She goes to, like, some, I guess, uh, adva like, advanced student high school, like a privileged high school or whatever, and she gets these powers where she can turn back time and she can manipulate time and stuff. And then, so, the game starts off with her having a vision of a tornado that's gonna hit her city, and she... Um, basically once the tornado hits, she like turns back time and then she's in class, sitting in class and then she's like, was that even real? Was that a vision? What's happening? So pretty much she goes along and sketchy stuff start happen happening at her high school and um, so she uses her new power that she can turn back time to not only figure out how to stop the tornado or like help people from the tornado but also like figure out ways to help people in her high school and uh there's like a lot of fishy stuff going on in this high school because there's like um there's a girl that disappeared um right now i'm, I'm with the, the main character's name is max i'm with her best friend her best friend had another friend named rachel that disappeared and she, we've been trying to solve the mystery of like where she is and stuff. And um, so we're using like Max's powers to like change stuff. And But really sketchy stuff is happening at the school. Like one of Max's friends, Kate, got drugged and uh, they spread a video of her um, doing like sexual stuff with um, some like one of the guys from the high school that his parents own the high school and uh, 
So that girl like wanted to kill herself, but Max talked her out of it using her powers to like go back in time and stuff like that. Um, and so right now they're just trying to figure out why like that one girl disappeared. What um, they're trying to figure out, or they're trying to get evidence to show that the that one girl was actually drugged, and uh, they're trying to basically find out what the source is of all the sketchy stuff that's happening in the high school. So, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm on chapter three. There's like five, five chapters, I think. So, um, just to catch you up, since, like, I guess I already did two streams of the game, um, previously, but I guess you weren't here, but just to catch you up, that's what's going on in the story. We have to find um, another way in. And right now we snuck into time with Frank. In the middle of the but night, we snuck DIY into the high school. You come up with a better plan. And we're trying Can to I go into the I principal's think. office to dig up information. Um Hey, so, Warren, you busy? That's where we're at. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. <laughs> Listen, I need your yeah, physics no and expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. All right, so my mouse every time i log into this game my mouse like glitches out like the sensitivity is way too high okay so um warren is some guy in, in her in the school that likes max and he's like a nerd so he told me how to um warren is such a classic nerd let's see if i can find those items of the devil um he told me how to put together a solution to basically blow up the lock so i'm just Trying to find items. The Please items that were in the text it. message. In this game, so uh, there's like a lot of choice. Um, based on how you play Only the game, the, the ending of the game is completely different. So, is. Bet. Oh, you mean Becky? Is she going to rejoin? She actually went to sleep, so, um, she wanted to watch, but freaking technical difficulties, and so she just went to sleep. So, she'll probably just watch the VOD later. Um, we're going to sneak Gross. into the science room. I hate that formalin smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. We need sugar. Mm, Sugar's sugar. one of the items. Soda's one of the items. You're halfway um, home, Max. Let me check. Warren sent me the text. Uh, let me see. We have sugar, soda. Now we need duct tape and sodium chlorate. Another text from Warren. Okay. I never said they were great, troll. By the way, she's in the school for photography. That's what she's, like, I guess, majoring in here. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. And so throughout the game, you can like. Good evening, fish, fish. 
you can like get photography opportunities and stuff. It's just like a little extra thing, like I guess um, a, an achievement Thanks, to get all the nice photography work. opportunities. Um, okay, so we're looking for duct tape and so sodium chloride is sodium a weed chloride. killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. <laughs> Must be in the science room somewhere. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so. Here's the sodium chloride box. Okay, can I grab it? You know you're clumsy, Max. Turn it off again, or Don't someone will notice. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. That's a good point. I probably should do that. Also, this game got like overwhelmingly, over overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. So, um, please resume your slumber. You know, that's one thing that got me interested in this game. And I like story games. I like games like where you have actual choice and your actions have actual consequence. Okay, so we got three of the items. Now we just need duct tape. a scene in a horror film waste your rewind power so um you have limited rewind power like that's kind of what it looks like and once the thing runs out then you can't rewind anymore um that's kind of how uh, how it works you can never escape the lighthouse here let's see Oh, and this is the photographer's classroom, and he just got fired because he didn't help the girl that almost committed suicide, even though Max helped her. He got fired because apparently he talked to her last, and he's under investigation, but he's, like, really sketchy, so... Oh, even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Satoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? We're kind of in here just to find answers because there's like a lot of sketchy stuff Jefferson going on in this screwed. high school. Nice going, Max. Um, I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Yeah, there should be tape in here somewhere. Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Oh, and all the girls in this high school want to bang Mr. Jefferson. He's the uh, um, photography teacher. Oh, there's the duct tape. The tape is mine. <laughs> Phil Swift approaches. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. All right, I guess I have to go back and put the uh, items together. <clears throat> By the way, this is the girl that's like been missing. I feel like you're guiding us along. Um, Where? Her posters are everywhere and the blue haired chick that's trying to pick the lock right now, that's her friend and that's who she's trying to find. And I'm just trying to find answers like to see what is happening. Oh, man. Excuse me. All right. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Sounds. Get ready to haul ass. I feel like that's a bad idea because it's going to set off a lot of Cool. Duct tape in half. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Well, we need to. Wait, did that not work? Oh wait. 
here we go. We need to explore a little bit before the... Before we get busted. There's gotta be stuff in here, right? Um. Okay. Uh, I, I need to I figure lost. this out. <clears throat> I sawed this tape in half and repaired it only with flex tape. Dude, those flex tape commercials are hilarious. Okay, so... Uh, apparently I was supposed to do something. And I didn't do it in time. So... Okay, so I just rewinded time. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, so I rewinded time to before we uh, blew the door open. So that put the butt, I can still be in here. Like it put me inside so I can explore. I, th I think that's what it is. All right, so let's unlock it. bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. That's actually awesome. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. I feel like we need to, uh. This is your chance stay to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel or Stay Kate on task. Or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Like, she's just sitting there telling me to do stuff and she's not helping. Let's turn this on. And let's check that text message. Um. Cool. Whatever. <clears throat> Search in here. I certainly can't use this. Kate's file. Okay, this is the this girl that committed suicide or Kate tried to commit suicide. I, the one I saved. And in the wrong place. Okay. Only two more files to go. Um. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Can I not search that? Tumbleweeds. She's just browsing while I'm doing all I the work. I guess being a bully wow, isn't Chloe. the Prescott DNA. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Oh, by the way, this is a consequence of a petition that I signed, like, way earlier. You're not so tacky up close. Like, the game would actually be different if I hadn't made the decisions that I did. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. Yeah, she's definitely a hacker, dude. I'd um, drink, too, if I was the principal of Blackwell. Well, the secret's out now. And nothing here. She's not even looking, though. Oh, this looks promising. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. It's because, uh, Man, the principal's in on it. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Um, okay. One more file? Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 
Oh, by the way, this guy right here, the Nathan Prescott, is the guy that he pulled a gun on Chloe and his parents own the school, but he gets away with everything because they like own I'm it. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. And he's the guy that we think drugged the girl that tried to commit suicide and did the sex tape with. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren's the guy that likes her. I Just think we found her. everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Um. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, We're doing some me, Batman investigation. And now we know right he now. was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money or steal the money, should I? But I feel like if she steals the money, then they're gonna get security cameras and they're, they're gonna see that like they broke in but if I leave the money then she won't be able to pay back Frank what should I do leave it okay you really want to take money from the handicapped fund I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Look at us making a difference. All right. Wait, did she? Okay. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. She's from Cali. Never mind. Did you want me to steal it? So, okay, they're not lesbian. They were actually best friends as kids. Although Chloe does look like lesbian, but 
<clears throat> I mean, they, they both kind of do, but... No, they were best friends as kids, and they, like, reunited. Chloe, the one with the blue we're hair, the she man. used to go to this hi high school, deal. but she got kicked out. Water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Um, can I get a soda first? I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. What's wrong with that? Boys or girls? Uh, let's go to the boys' locker room, shall we? All girls kind of look lesbian. <laughs> or, what do you think? Boys or girls' locker room? You can help me make decisions here. Kind of leaning towards boys just because they can uh, possibly uh, plant some contraband in there or something. I don't know. Let's go with boys. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Um. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. For some reason, the music, like, makes it feel like we're about to get busted. Can I steal this? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Mm. Logan's locker. I guess I should consider this evolution. I threw up. Um, sex me up. Boys locker room is right. <laughs> How did I know? Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max is a feminazi. Wow. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Someone has a crush on one. Uh. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. I feel like I missed some stuff in here. Let me go back. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Well, of course, because he won't get caught. And if he gets caught, they won't do anything about it. This must be for training kids. Um. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Cell phone? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Oh, the Victoria's trying to get in his DMs. Betty Warren. developed that in Jefferson's class. It's because he likes you, dum dum. Alright. Time to go for a swim. I'm surprised that there's like actual graffiti in like a high profile school like this. Like, that would have been taken down. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Ooh, more things to steal. Yes, we get it. Otters. Um. Oh, this is the girls locker room. I'm assuming. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. I 
I hope so, friend. Well, we care, dickhead. Um. I go to the most ghetto broke high school in a district full of ghetto broke schools. And there's no graffiti? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, they would have taken this down. Like, that's not realistic. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Um... Where does that other sock go? Let's see what we find in here. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? <laughs> Victoria's locker? This should be so, interesting. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your. No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Wait, no way. Is this Rachel's locker room? Oh, that's Kate's. Never mind. Uh, okay, let's go swimming. Doesn't let me sprint. Kind of unfortunate. Oh, now it does. I like to explore, if you couldn't tell. Um, I guess I could just jump in, but first I want to make sure I'm not missing any secrets, any Easter eggs. <clears throat> All right. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Light. Where's the light? Maybe in the office? I don't know. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. jump in time to do or dive max you're just gonna jump in in plain clothes i don't know if i like that music <laughs> oh yeah baby it feels like a hot tub too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because i wanted that cash stash tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie don't you dare come stop me hippie okay you asked for it So, supposedly, this girl is 18. She looks 12. Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those Puberty shows. doesn't, uh, <laughs> treat everyone equally as, as well. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> huh. 
I wish Rachel was here. The water graphics, yeah. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Uh... Warren is nice. Warren is... Nice. I'm trying to choose the, the non-lesbo <laughs> nice. options. Ouch. That means Just friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Okay, now it's getting interesting. What if I okay, don't hide if it? If I go I back see over there, happens. the guard will definitely bust me. Oh, it doesn't let me. Because the less bow option is scary. I mean, Dude, hide. Like the thing is, kids. it's just like so cliche. Well, not really, I but in this type of games, or it's like. Just look for a hiding spot. No, or actually, both. the real reason is because I kind of read some spoilers, and uh, like, I'm not gonna say what, but based on what happens, where are they? I'm trying to like. Hello. Change the outcome. Oh, shoot. Um. Hello? Anybody there? Nobody here. Move along. Nothing to see here. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. No. Heard nothing. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. No. No. Hey. Dang it. I, I don't better know. Better rewind right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to like hide in a locker. Wait, 
where's he at? Can I hide in a locker? In a stall? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Hide in here and then let him go, let him pass by. Hello? No. Nobody there? Nobody. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. No, we escape. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Okay. I feel like Chloe's gonna get busted though. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Bullshit. Just you can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, Chloe's dad is the, the head secure office security guard for uh Get in. the school. Alright, so we got some files. Maybe we can uh, use them to find more clues. I don't know. Oh no, don't, don't, don't tell me they went full lesbo. Nah, they're dressed. <laughs> the amount of girls in bras has to tell you something. Yeah, I think that's like the I think that's the narrative they're trying to push. But I'm Always like this trying moment. to rebel against it. You know what I mean? Photo bomb well, on the walls. Photo hog. Yeah. So that I mean that honestly could be. It feels uh, like a different world from yesterday. You could be right we there. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Like we used oh, does to. The girl have a test what does today? that mean? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Um, I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to Let's get up. It's enough lying around. She reminds you of Sabine. Yeah, the hair. The blue hair. Okay, I need to I get actually, this. um, fun fact, I actually named my, uh, my cat Sabine. Here, I'll show you. I made uh, my cats an Instagram just for fun. 
Yes, I know how that looks. I'll show you. So the gray one is uh, Sabine. I named uh, I named her after Sabine from Rebels, and then the one on the right is Milo. He's my uh, I've had him for like twelve years now. But yeah, Sabine is one of my favorite characters from that show. hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case I think like they used to be friends yeah the hair and personality <laughs> sorry dude I always forget um yeah I, li I really like Sabine like she's uh wow I remember this old phone we decorated it together I used to have a flip flip phone like that a long time ago. Um, should I steal her money? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh wait, there was more. I forgot to. Uh, the fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Condoms? Is that what these are? You have a heavy heart. I can feel it when we kiss. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Well, you still look 10. Maybe she's not as gay as we thought. I mean, I don't know. She could be like a demisexual or like a... She kind of strikes me as a demisexual, to be honest. Um, what is this music? I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Rachel, the girl that in the all the Holy missing shit, posters, no. is like Frank the is other scary. best friend of I Chloe. I should have let Chloe take that money. Um... Get dressed? Nah. Joint? I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Let's use your computer. Let's see, uh... At least we haven't been identified. Yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. So early in the game, there was this uh, petition to put up security cameras, and I voted against it, which is good because then that way I could get away with the with the crime. Where is this music coming from? Let's see. Can I turn this off? I can't turn this off. Uh, let's see. Can I talk to her? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? <laughs> Not sure what no. The no, too easy. And there's too much shit going on now. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so demi, demisexual is when it's kind of like you uh, you only develop sexual um, attraction for people that you have like a intimate emotional like experience or relationship with. So it could, like, you could be gay, like, you could go for, if you're a girl, you could go for a girl or for a guy, depending on if you develop, like, an emotional um, bond with that person. That's what Demi means. It just means, it's kind of like saying bye, but it's more about emotional, um, that sexual attraction is caused by emotional connections, if you will. World. I'll try not to remind you of when we were besties anymore. Rachel loved hanging out with me here. She would have understood. For Ted. Um, 
So whenever that little music comes up, that means there's a consequence to uh, to the action. Let me see if uh, I change my answer. See what happens. I love this morning light. Wouldn't it be wicked? So, because I did the conversation already, I know what she's gonna say or what she's thinking, so I can, like, when I repeat the dialogue, I can actually have a different answer. So. I bet you and Rachel liked hanging out here too. You know it. She reminded me of, of you when we faked sleep so our parents wouldn't make us get up too early Saturday morning. Did you guys have a lot of sleepovers? As many as possible, but it was more fun at her place. Step Commando wanted us up at the ass crack of dawn. It's cool to be back here with you. Okay. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. Then we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. Mm. What if I don't want to get dressed? Put Let's some just clothes go get on breakfast first, like Hillbilly. That. Fine. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Well, that's gonna See give away your position. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I feel like, oh, okay, cool. We get to change outfits. That outfit was absolute like whack, but I think it's um, <laughs> perv. Uh, I think it's we would have got caught if we would have worn okay. the chlorine clothes Time because Chloe Chloe's stepdad is the security guard. Hey, there you guard. go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. It's true. Max dresses like a 12-year-old. always year old. rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare oh, you. Oh no. Kiss me now. No. Oh my gosh. This is this is what I was trying to avoid. But um I mean, if I kiss her, that doesn't mean I'm gay, right? Or it's not gay because It's a dare, though. Like, I don't know. Should I? Say no homo first? <laughs> Alright, no homo. Let's do this. Damn. <laughs> You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I wonder what would happen. Let me let me see what happens if I don't. Uh just 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 for fun. Um I don't think I'll be moshing today. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't kiss. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. Hi, Key, that's what I did. I love that Chloe is so fearless. So what should I, like... Should I do it and like surprise her or should I just like not? She knew? Yeah, oh yeah, she knew. Um, we're just gonna leave it like that because I ain't gay. Stay gay? Okay, let me see if I could go back. 
Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh thrasher. pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to throw. Oh yeah, she, uh... Let's not rewind and find out, okay? She does the devil's lettuce. Oh, wait. What? Oh, no. I can't rewind. Okay. So, like, I guess I'm straight now. I can't rewind. Like, there's sometimes it, like, um... If you make a choice, it, like, locks it in, and you can't rewind past that, so... Rip. <coughs> Checkpoint. Yeah, basically. Basically, that's what it is. So... Unfortunately. Um, okay. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Kate, this is the girl that, uh, the girl that's texting me is the girl that tried to kill herself because of the video that Nathan Prescott did. Let's see what, uh, what she said. Um, Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Okay. It's like when we were kids here. Photo. Photo op. Now that I actually don't look like I'm 12. I mean, she still looks like she's 12, but she dresses a little better now. Um, let's put some makeup on or brush her teeth. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Hair dye? Oh, dude, let me dye my hair. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Yeah, maybe it is. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Um. Oh, it's the bird. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Yeah, I... This bird died, but I, like, basically rewinded time and saved it. But that bird wouldn't be here if I wouldn't have done that two chapters ago. Uh, can I go in here? I Let's better see. not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. David is the security guard stepfather. Alright. <laughs> Let's get some waffles. Waffles sound amazing right now. This might be the one time <coughs> these people are right. Oh, we can go outside. Dead birds? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Kind of is. Um. I wonder how these birds died. Coronavirus? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Let's go for a little swing before we uh, get breakfast. Chugging chlorine, yeah, Chloe probably. And he would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. 
Alright, well, let's we always wanted to swim all the way around. Enough of that. Let's go get some waffles. Um. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Let's open the window. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. And let's. What wow. kind of cereal is this? Applejack. Who still eats the same cereal? So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Um, dang, eggs and bacon sound good too. Uh, let's go to eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I have to cook now? This is a cooking simulator now? Bacon. The what eggs always it? come first, as Joyce used to say. Okay. Bacon in here, probably. <laughs> I should have all sexism? become a vegan, but... <laughs> <sighs> I know, why, why, why aren't there any men in the kitchen? Like, what is this? Is this not 2020? Uh, here we go. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We're on probably, the same page, uh, Max. Been I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Um. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always she said was. on her feet. She thinks yeah, Rachel's dead. As well as I thought. Maybe Chloe True feelings either. revealed. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Down because it. lies. Um. Did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. <clears throat> it's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Low fat milk? Nah, you gotta get that whole milk. I found an old Thank you so much, old Joyce. otter pop. I I'm don't know how old it was in the table. freezer. Good, you can clean. Hey man, don't question it. If you think about it too much, that's how you get food poisoning. You just gotta st stick it in your mouth and not think about it. Besides, it, it's been in the freezer, and mm -hmm. dude, think about how many preservatives it has. Like. You'll be fine, dude. Ten years later. You'd be surprised at the, the things I've eaten. I ate a peanut that was stuck inside of a vent once. Wait, is that another bird in here? 
Okay, can I get up? What? Why am I still here? And get seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work. <laughs> you wouldn't. My favorite photographers probably <clears throat> take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Hmm, I disagree. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. Okay, can I didn't we like show you this to be morbid? In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. <sighs> did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not Actually, always about did. you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Oh, okay. I do I see need what to we're get into here. David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Ooh, give me this gun. Um, I can't take it. It's sad. What year is it set in? I mean, I don't know that they've said that. Um, but they got like semi smartphones. I don't know. Um, David is, uh, the stepdad of Chloe, the guy that's the security guard at the school, and he's like, like hella sketch too, like he's really suspect. <clears throat> so, I guess we'll do some hacks here. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Clues? Oh, come on, you're gonna make me dig around for... What is this? Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Let's use it. Shit balls. Okay. So let's rewind since that didn't work. Because we don't want to get locked out. Nothing in it. Mm, search in here. Nothing to see here. He's got snacks. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. That uh, doesn't sound like a good idea. That sounds awful. Magic 8-Ball says no. That was a really dumb idea. We'll rewind. Um, Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Um, 
Should I read it? Oh. Okay. Uh I feel like it's gonna be David has been dragging his head around since two thousand and one. Maybe that's it. Worst hacker ever. <laughs> um, let's not do that. Tape. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Family. Let's try it. Try again. Dang it. Uh. Um. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. This is going to be it. Could be a password here. I feel like that's going to be it, but let's see. Such wrong. Such wrong? Really, Chloe? Or, uh, Max? Maybe in here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Come on. I don't want to keep searching. Just be the right one. Nope. the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. It's a receipt. I don't think that's going to be it. Um, personal? No. Family. Let's try that one. Score! Oh, Max what? No way. That was the worst password. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Um... This is so wrong. Interesting response oh, right here. Bastard. He has a file on me. Or not on me, but I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Can I steal stuff first? Now we might have the password to this. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Oh man. I was hoping. 2013 to 2014? I guess that makes sense. Or I guess that's when the game was made, right? That would make sense. Alright, I guess we're done in here. Let's go back in there. Hmm. 
Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Side with David, side with Chloe. I mean, I'm gonna side with Chloe. Of course. You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. <laughs> How That's is that a illegal. question? So is spying on people yeah. in your family right. and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You Ooh. can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid That's for right. and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of Dang. things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Nah. Even if she does. Wait, can I talk to him? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Why would she? You understand? Yeah. See, I know Joyce wouldn't be mad. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> cool. Uh, so what now? Do we leave? Okay. Chloe, on the other hand... <laughs> Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I think this is the guy she owes money to. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Where is Frank? 
What are what, what's with these dead birds? What is going on here? All right, where's this guy? How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Actually, yes. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Hope you catch the big one mm -hmm. today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. All right, where's this Frank guy? Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. <laughs> Worst interview ever. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh, oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. By the way, I was the one that uh, did the railroad tracks. I I messed that up for him, but um, I think that I can talk to this guy again and get him to talk more about Rachel Amber. <laughs> hey, how? Peachy. Actually. I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? <laughs> My friend Rachel Amber <clears throat> told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. <laughs> Let's talk about my photo shoot later. 10-4. So I, I think yeah, I know he's inside. I'm just gonna see what other little Things I can find. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Um, let's get some information. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Tell the truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. 
bad mojo was in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Um. <laughs> Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, okay. uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Alright. Time to go inside. Talk to Frank. Um. I totally forgot the plan, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. There's Frank, but uh, let's see if I can do anything else in here first. Oh, look, it's the Nathan douche. All right, let's go talk to uh, You eat plate. like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you <laughs> fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> <laughs> did I mess that up? I guess I did. That's kind of funny. Let's spill this. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's funny that it lets you do that, even though that's not a... Uh... You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took yeah, that oh gun Yeah, oh yeah, he definitely you. would have. Grab your He's keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <sighs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. So, let's go back. He definitely would have killed me though. He's uh, he's like a drug dealer, dude. Um. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Um. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Let me see if I could extract more information out of him. There she is. Skip this. Thanks, Officer Barry. I and was just. We're gonna talk I'm glad about you. Kate. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Prescott deal. Well, 
I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Let me see if I could get a little bit more there information. There she is, Super Maxine. Thanks. I'm glad. David. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Um, okay. Now, with that information... Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Hmm. Let's do... We'll just go in order. Your quick. sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Well, that didn't go well. Let's... The other option. Rach? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. <sighs> That's funny. Perhaps we can. Uh... Rachel. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Good to know. But before I say that... Rachel! See what's over here. Well, we'll do this one first. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig <laughs> over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Oh. So I can talk to the cop about a certain uh, other thing. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. <laughs> I'm such With a snitch. Frank Bowers. It's funny. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. 
That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation and he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. I feel like Nathan had one more dialogue. Rachel! Uh, whatever the... I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Interesting. Okay, well, with the, all that information, I feel like I can uh, talk to Frank now. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. Hmm, okay. So I have some options here. Let's see what's over here. So I can go with the buy drugs option. Go after the... David is after the gun. Let's see what happens David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. <laughs> Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with the, uh, give me drugs option. Yeah, he has a little doggo, little pupper boy. Um, okay. Let's try that. One more time. Yeah, we'll go with the buy drugs option. By the way, Frank. I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> well, already did the dog option. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again ever now back off oh wait how did i mess that up i thought i was supposed to maybe i'll just go and do <coughs> the dog one you act so scary first. but the thing is i did the did other one first then i did dogs. the dog one one i'm not acting to who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up. 
Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Okay, so... None of the options are working, but I did get some information out of him. I don't know if... Uh, maybe I could talk to some other people. Like, go be a snitch again? I don't know. What can I do for you, Max? Didn't he hand you the keys? I don't think he did. Well, I heard a rumor. Jesus, that's... I don't... Look, some... Do I have... No, I think it would show up on the top right if I had the keys. Right? Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Okay, so that's the information that I needed there. So now that I know that... We can, uh... Convince Frank. Um, Rachel's photo. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Should I take it? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Oh. You did not just do that. There we go. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. And then I can just rewind and actually. Uh... But let me see Keep if I can up. also take the picture. Now my the, work the photo. here is done here, Frank. Wait, can I not? My work here is done here, Frank. Oh, I wanted to take the photo. Oh well. Mission accomplished. Alright, back to the RV. Hey, I know this girl. to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Oh, she's not talkative. Well, here we go. Uh, here. I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. I have Mark, to do all the get dirty set. work. Throw. Throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. 
Let's throw towards the road. Get the treat, treat boy. <gasps> the meat a is in the street. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. Oh. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. No, I can't. I can't kill the dog. I can't. Oh, I can't. Please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. I can't. I can't kill the dog. I can't do it. I mean, I didn't know that was gonna happen, but. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we can't. We can't do that. Towards the park. Get the treat, treat boy. I, think I feel like if I throw it towards the parking lot, bitch. though, he's gonna see it Get from it. the diner. Now I can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. That's what I was afraid of, but we'll deal with it when the time comes. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, you just we drive that thing everywhere away. in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Um. Okay. So. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. I guess we gotta look. Around. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Um. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Baseball bat? I should just take I this as a Frank weapon. I Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Um. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Baggies? Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. My poodle is named Hamilton. You have a poodle? That's rad, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Is he a good boy? Yeah. How can somebody live like this? Or is it a girl? Photo. Um, that's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. It's a boy. I oh. could pry this vent open with the right tool. Let's see. No more secrets. Oh, you know what? There's that knife on the table. I bet I could do it with that. But before I do... Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Um, yeah, we This is almost as good as a set of keys. And voila. Versus. Nothing here. We might want to undo that then. Oh shit, the knife is broken. Let's undo it. But we'll keep the knife. What about...
Did I already look Whoa. in here? I feel like I did. No more secrets. Maybe Oh, I haven't looked up here yet. Ooh, Frank Stash. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Okay, wait, what am I looking for in here? I forget. Um. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Did this. Oh, okay. Let's use enough My for blade this. will open any portal. That looks like the right thing. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monster bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadov. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Hmm. I feel like that could just be, uh... I'm glad Rachel got to drive Insincere. She looks... Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Oof. <coughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. It was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Huh, interesting. 2013. So what are we done here? Leo means law enforcement officer. It makes me ill that Rachel posed yeah. like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! I still have that knife. Well... Guess uh, he's stuck there forever then. What is he eating? I know this because I'm a future Leo. Blaming me and everybody for. Oh yeah, like you're actually <clears throat> gonna be in law, law enforcement. Everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. Rachel and Frank grew up. Nobody's fault. So now it's Rachel's fault too. Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. 
right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Oh, you are? That's pretty cool. Um, when are you going to go into the academy? I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. <coughs> Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Or was it? Whale. See what happens now. Can't join the state patrol until I'm 19 and a half. I'm gonna be 16 on the 22nd. Well, you got some time to. Oh my god. What is happening now? Hold up, what? No way. Use A D keys and left mouse too till you find the sweet spot. Well, I guess she just got a new power. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I That's hope Chloe's the flash dad. didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. No Give me the way. thumbs up or thumbs down. So I can change the past? Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook? William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them no I'm way. 18 years I old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. No way. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. All right, hold on. Um. So how many yeah, eggs? I don't don't you dare question the chef right. that's okay like so that's her dad that died here. like years ago I am and that's Chloe well. before she had blue hair um, I'll let her know that I love William like he was in my own family I Chloe is just so 
damn happy and carefree. So I can probably stop and him from dying. this is the last time unless I change it. Um. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Joyce loves William so much. Just with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Of course I'll come pick you up. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did. She looks Chloe. older as a 13 year old? I yeah, pretty much. From taking his car today. Like, to it's so weird to say, to but yeah. Boat. She don't have many bags of delicious She completely skipped puberty. So ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. For that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar <gasps> for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. If I steal his keys, then he can't get in a car crash. Big brain time. Um, I just have to find the keys before he does. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let's save him. Careful, Max. William can totally see you. So you gotta go a little further back. And keys, please. Score. Um. No way. No way. Shit, so I'm like, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I'm basically going to save his life. Oh, did I miss something? Max, <clears throat> this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just um are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh let's just let's just wait. I um sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. No, you won't, because you're gonna die unless I rewind time right now. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No way. Yeah, let's uh, let's rewind that. You'll be grateful for that someday. Okay. Shit, where are my so keys? Let's hide That's the keys. a dollar for the swear jar. You mean In your here. college fund? Keys, please. This is so trippy. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Wait, I failed? Oh no. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no I Chloe and Max better... wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because to Let's hide it in the couch, because maybe the couch will make it not loud. You'll be grateful for that someday. Crap! I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Maybe I should have. Hit it somewhere else. Shit! Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. No, don't. No. Dang it. I knew this thing would come in handy. Something muffling. Why are yeah. my keys under here? It's good. And no. It's good. Something muffling. What? Can I just like flush them down the? No. You'll be grateful for that someday. Uh, Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Sink. I can do that. Oh, there we go. 
That also messes up the electronics. Wait, what? what? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, no you are way. being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. I saved a life today. Wait. What is happening? Did I just delete this guy? No way. <laughs> that face. I rewrote time literally. And Chloe is still in school? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends no in way. Max. <clears throat> Never like Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Everything oh, is no. different. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. He's a bus driver instead of a security guard? It kind of forced me though. It kind of forced me to save uh, her dad, like to rewrite the past. It didn't really give me an option to not do it, right? Proof. I think that me rewriting time is what's going to cause that giant tornado and the sun's eclipse that happened a few days ago. All the birds dying. All the random, like, it snowed in the middle of, uh, what was it, October or something? I think all that stuff is happening because I rewrote time. So, like, the two universes are, like, merging or whatever, or, like, the... Yeah, that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Like, the more I alter time, the more crazy nature, like, the crazier nature gets and weirder stuff happens. That's cool. I think... Uh, 
Yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a Seattle. visitor! So, I think it takes place in Oregon, or that's where the, the school's in Oregon, but I think... Oh, what? No. No way. What? What happened to her? What the heck? She... She broke her neck? Okay, so... Yeah, I think it's over. Or the episode three is over. There's two more episodes. Oh, snap. Okay, so... Apparently... Like, her dad's still alive, but she broke her neck. Somehow, or like she's paralyzed or something. Dang, so I feel like in the next episodes, I'm probably gonna have a choice to like, undo what I did and let her dad like actually die like I have to choose between paralyzed Chloe or uh, her dad so dang that's crazy so um apparently apparently Arcadia Bay which is where the school is is, is in Oregon and the um i think where they used to live is in seattle I, I could be wrong but uh a life saved is a life saved i mean yeah but i mean chloe did seem kind of happy like i don't know it's it's crazy it's like because chloe will never li live like a Full, fully realized life but she'll have her dad dang I mean it's crazy dang it's getting good but uh, I don't know I don't know where I think she's gonna have a choice to either reverse time or, or like to reverse what she did and bring Chloe back to how she was. Or, um, perhaps, I don't know, I don't know, this could take any, like, different turn. The dad seems awesome. No way you are letting him die. I mean, yeah, but like, there, what what if there's a way to let him live but then go back in time again to save Chloe before she got paralyzed maybe that's what I'll do but I think I think here's the thing I think the more I might be able to do that but the more that I like keep altering time the more like the crazier the weather is gonna get I'm just gonna completely destroy the universe by like keep going back in time or something like that I kind of that's kind of where I see it going, if I had to predict. But, um, interesting concept. But, anyway, um, should I play the next chapter or, uh, would you like me to see me play something else? What are you in the mood for? Because, I mean, I, I could do either one. I don't care either way. Like, it's, uh, it's up to you. I forgot I had ice cream here. It completely melted. <coughs> you don't care either? Yeah. 
day. It got kind of interesting. Let me see what what time is it? 3:20. Same. I'm gonna look up where it takes place. <clears throat> All right. Uh, while you do that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, it's Oregon. I got excited because I'm from Seattle. Um, I mean, it's right around the corner. This kind of tells me what my decisions were compared to what other people have done. Um, I left the money. Most people did that. I didn't kiss Chloe. Most people kiss Chloe. Um, I sided with Chloe. Most people did that. Um... You kept Frank's dog from harm. Most people did that. I mean, come on. You can't kill a dog. Um, Frank has David's gun. Chloe has David's gun. Wait. I could have stolen a gun from the... I could have stolen a gun from the garage and I, I didn't. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Most people took it. And I guess she gave it to Chloe or something. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's cool to see your stats. Um. Oh, I could have taken a gun from the RV. I didn't see it. Hold on. This was in the RV? Oh. Dang, I missed that. Should have explored a little better. Um, let's see. Lisa is alive. Oh, that's her plant. Um, I didn't help Warren with his exam. Most people did that. I'm on the Vortex 
club party list. That was a decision that happened before. Um, you didn't change the Vortex Club party list? I could have done that. You didn't erase the cop's message. You didn't help Alyssa. I guess these are like more minor, minor um, stats. I warned the homeless woman. You didn't take a photo in the past. Oh, what? I could have taken a photo in the past? That's insane, dude. You didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Um, Dang, I could have done that too. Man. We'll see, like, this game actually has replayabil replay replayability. Like, you can do things completely different. But, um... Um, that's cool that it takes place. I mean, I know Oregon's pretty close to Seattle, right? It, it, it's kind of close to where you're at. But anyway, this is a preview for the next one. End of the world party. Why do I feel like that's foreshadowing? Dark room. That's the next one. Dang. Should I play another one? I kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of curious now. I guess, I guess so. Let's freaking screw it. Let's do it. I'm curious to see what happens next, to be honest. Like, th this game kind of starts off a little slow, but it, it kind of, like hooks you a little bit just because you want to know what happens and I guess like the ability to change your decisions and alter the da the game I don't know it's just cool <clears throat> maybe I should wait for your friends oh like for Becky I mean either way like I could play um I could play some Battlefront, I could play some Call of Duty, I could play something else, but uh, it's up to you, like, you're the deciding factor. Should I roll dice for it? I have some dice right here. Okay. Have you played Ewok Hunt before? Yeah, I played it once. It was like, super trippy. I didn't enjoy it. Well, I mean, I didn't enjoy being the Ewoks just because I freaking hate Ewoks. Like, I actually want to punt every single one. Like you can in the Force Unleashed. Uh, Sith Edition. I, uh, I actually hate Ewoks. Like, I don't care, um, what you may say. You're not going to convince me that some teddy bears can beat down the Empire. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't accept it to this day. I like Jar Jar Binks more than I like the Ewoks, I'll put it that way. It's kind of like a controversial opinion, I guess, but it is what it is. I have spoken. Um, you wish you could have seen it? Yeah. It was, uh... It was like, I don't know, it was just weird. Like, I guess when it, once you, like, kill the enemy, you become, or the, or the Ewoks kill you, you become an Ewok, right? That's how it works. But. <clears throat> Alright, you decide. Should I let the dice decide, or, um, do you want to decide what I do next? It's like, I... I want you to, uh, I mean, enjoy, like, like, you, you're, you've been hanging out and you've been watching, so you, you get to, uh, you know, have some say in this. Let the, I, did I finish the campaign? Yes, I did, I did. Um, I went to, um, it ends with, what does it end with? Oh yeah, like, 
they kill or uh, Dell dies. You got your wish. And uh, what's her name? Zell or the girl's name? She lives. Um, it was a. It was a. I guess it was like a cool way to tie the game into the. Um, the sequels. Just it's just a shame that the sequels are kind of whack. Zay, that's her name. Zell, did I say Zell? I combined their names, Dell and, and Zell, or Zay. Um, let the dice decide. Okay. So I got, got a couple here. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the blue, the blue dice. Okay. If I roll above seven, if I if I roll above seven, or hold on, if I roll above six, wait, let me get my mouth straight. If I roll above seven, then we play Battlefront. Or whatever you want, whatever else. If I get below seven, then we play some more Life is Strange. Sound good? All right. Seven exactly. Look at this. Seven exactly. That means we gotta roll again. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> that was funny. Okay. No way, dude. Seven again. Look. Another seven. Okay. What is happening? Alright. This is the one. Above a seven is another game, and below a seven is this game. You're kidding me, dude. Look at this. I'm not tampering with the dice. I'm just gonna show you what's on top. <laughs> That's insane. If we roll seven again, we round up. Rounding up would be what? Uh, that's to play another game, right? Yeah. Okay. What are games that have to do with seven? I mean, I can I can tell you what my Steam library is. Hold on. Switch his camera. <clears throat> Look, I know you miss her, man. 
Okay, I have this in like 4K, so let me go to the other view. Okay, so these are the games that I have access to. Got seven ways to die. Um, I don't think all of these are mine, but uh, all these games are like in my library available for game share. So, you tell me. Uh, maybe we should play Battlefront. It was... It was, uh, made by DICE. I feel like it's trying to tell you something. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'm, I'd be down to do that. Then we can let, uh, Becky watch the next one. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We can make a, an executive decision. <clears throat> and just go ahead and, um, finish The Life is Strange. Alright, let me uh, exit out of here. Did, I can't believe we got... Was that four sevens? Or was it three sevens in a row? I think that was four sevens, dude. Um, Alright, let me exit this one. Um, To BH, I'm not well versed in stuff like gaming. Even though I'm a gamer, I don't know the violent ones as well. Three three times we did the we rolled a seven. Yeah, that was that was crazy, dude. Um <clears throat> so we can do battlefront. But I mean, if you see something, I'm gonna go slow. If you see something that interests you, we can uh also Oh, I have some old Star Wars games, too. I forgot about those. Um, yeah, that's about it. But, um, let me, let me, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end stream. Uh, you just know Battlefront the best. We can do Battlefront. That's fine. Let me, um... So, okay, I'm going to end stream here just for like literally like two seconds and then I'm going to start it again just so that it can close down the VOD so that I can upload it on YouTube as like the story mode series. So just stick around. I'll be back in like probably like a minute. We'll, we'll do Battlefront. Sound good? Skyrim? Yeah, I have Skyrim too. Um, I don't know if it's installed. Let me see. Also have the Old Republic. Let me see a Skyrim installed. Where is it? Am I blind? Oh, it's up here, Elder Scrolls. Sky no, Skyrim's not installed, but I could install it. Um. If you want, I can install it while we play Battlefront. It's completely up to you. <clears throat> uh, hold on a second. The original Battlefront? Yeah, I have that too. Well, it's I think it's Battlefront 2. Hold on, these are my Star Wars games down here. Um, Battlefront 2, yeah. I don't think I have the original, like Battlefront 1, but yeah, I have the original Battlefront. Um, GTA, yeah. You play Black Desert? I literally got Black Desert because a friend of mine plays all the time, and he's like, dude, you need to get this. It's $9 right now. It's on special. So I bought it. I downloaded, or I installed it, I made a character 
and then I probably played for like 10 minutes and then I stopped. So I haven't really actually played um, that game. So I pretty much don't know anything about it other than every female character is like aesthetic AF. Uh, KOTOR, yep, I have that. Rocket League, Terraria. You know more than you thought you would. I mean, I don't only play, like, violent games, if you will. But, um, yeah, that's what I got. So, you tell me. We can do Battlefront. I mean, I don't mind. I just wanted to show you what I have. If you, uh, uh change your mind, you can always, uh, we can always do something else. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of vibing right now. But um, I'm going to end stream real quick, and I'll be right back. All right? <laughs>